John 16:23 Kai in ekene te hemera eme uk ero tesete udin amen amen legahumin anti ai tesete tan patera into anamatimu dose humin Here Jesus reassures his disciples he says and in that day you all will not ask me nothing. <laughs> right? You guys will not ask me anything. But notice the negation in Greek, thus the literal, you all will not ask me nothing. And then Jesus says, truly, truly, I say to you all, again, speaking to the disciples, this is a little bit unusual now, but uh, this on is standing in for an et on. Normally we would expect an et on here, and sometimes this happens, right? As soon as we see an on or et on, eh, 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 we know the subjunctive is coming. We see here a lengthened vowel. We see a sigma in front of it. This is going to be an aorist active subjunctive, and that is a second person plural ending. Y'all ask, right? If you all ask the Father anything, in other words, if you guys ask the Father for anything, in my name, he will give, implied it, to you all. So we end there with a dative indirect object of the second person plural personal pronoun. This dose, let's look at that for a moment. We've given you the hint multiple times. When you see a da or a do and you're not sure what it comes from, it's probably from didomi. Yes, this is from didomi. We're reduced down to the root, the da or the do root. We have a sigma. Oh, this is going to be a future. And then we have a third person singular ending there. So this is just a future active indicative, third person singular. He will give.